What a day. I can't believe we almost missed this because of getting on the wrong bus. We're Jordan and Emily. Our mission is to see as much of the world as possible before our money runs out. Since June, we've been exploring a new country in Europe every few days. But today is the first time on this trip we return to a country we've been to before. Yesterday, we caught two buses, a flight and a train to get ourselves here in Arezzo. We are in the heart of the Tuscan countryside in Italy and we're doing the one thing that you've got to do while you're here. Being that we are in the heart of Tuscany, a region that is super well known for its wines, we thought what better way is there to experience it than with a wine tasting. So we're getting a bus to a villa just outside of Arezzo where we're going to indulge in a beautiful wine tasting and tour of Villa La Ripa. How fancy! Wow, the kindness of strangers really moves you. I may or may not have gotten us on the wrong bus. We were going the complete wrong direction, so we just quickly pressed a button to jump off, ran into this bar and were like, can you help us call the taxi because our phones weren't working. Mm. And the sweetest guy was just like, just jump in my car, I'll take you. Villa La Ripa, you should watch the video. Yeah. Yeah. Took us all the way here. Didn't want anything in return. Didn't speak any English. He was just super nice. Love it. Kindness of strangers. That was so nice. So nice. I'm so sorry for the stress. That's right. We're here. And now we're at the villa. We are just walking on this beautiful driveway and we've just got the first glimpse of the amazing villa where we get to have our wine tasting today. Apparently it's like a renaissance villa. Do you know what year it was built? Long time. A long time ago. I hope we're going to learn all this because it is magnificent. I feel so Italian right now. <laughs> I scoured the website for a bit and I did learn a fair amount but I want to hear it from them so I make sure I get it right. But it's got a pretty cool history. Looks this pretty on the outside. I'm excited to see what it tastes like. I just can't believe it. Even if the rest of the day is like the worst, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be the worst. I don't think it's going to be bad. <laughs> but it is so <laughs> mind blowing. You believe beautiful. Like we saw photos online, but wow. Yeah, it doesn't do it justice. Our lovely host just told us about the history of Villa La Ripa, and basically it goes back to like medieval times, Renaissance times, and then the current owner, a neurologist, bought it. Had all these wineries, didn't know what to do with them until a patient came through that was a winemaker. They collaborate and now they make 45,000 bottles of wine that cuts down to about 22,000 because they only sell the best of the best. 
just got our first sight of the wine tasting room and it is beautiful. All the shiny glasses and the bottles of wine. I'm pretty sure we're going to try a Chianti because we're in the Chianti region. The only reason I know what a Chianti is, is because of Hannibal Lecter when he says, I'm going to eat you something with a fava bean and a nice Chianti. I think it's wine tasting time. Apparently the spit buckets, I've never spat alcohol back. New experience for me. It's a pity they're all travel size ones. judge a winemaker off of their rosé. This one is delicious. Because rosé is so difficult to make, it took them seven years to perfect the recipe. So normally wineries do like three or four harvests per year, but these guys here do 16 because they wait for the grapes to be perfect in each line. They don't just harvest. Yeah, okay, we've got one red wine today and they get that. They wait for each individual line to be perfect. So it takes a lot longer, it's a lot more work, but it's cool. It pays off. This is amazing. It tastes like Christmas. because of getting on the wrong bus. I would have been so sad. This is the best wine tour I've ever been on. Some of the best wine I've ever had. That was really, History really nice. And the passion. If you're in a rezzo, if you're in Italy, make the trip to a rezzo. Yeah. <laughs> Come and do this wine tour. 
well worth it. And now to go explore a reso. That wine tasting last night was so nice. If you are in a reso, get to Villa La Ripa. It is definitely worth it. Nicest people, nicest wine. The pairings with the cheese. Ooh, ooh. And now to explore a reso. Basically, it's just a classic old town. So there's an old town for us to check out, a few basilicas and stuff like that. But we've started the day up on the fortress, which has this amazing view of the Tuscan Hills. And we've only got a couple of hours because we have to check out pretty soon. So we'll make the most of that. Right at the top of the hill of Arezzo is this basilica. We've had a look online about what it looks like and it looks kind of like the Sistine Chapel. Like the roof is all painted in the same sort of fashion. I'm really excited to see what it looks like in person, but they're in an actual mass right now. So we'll wait till it opens to the public a little bit later, but I'm excited. about being there although we're doing that but it's so pretty inside there's just something about stained glass windows that is so beautiful I love it So Arezzo is super well known for their antiques. There's antique stores all around town and they actually have an antique fair every single weekend, which we're missing by one single day. They also have this medieval fair where people dress up in all of the fun outfits and there is jousting, which we missed by one day. We were so bummed out when we realized they literally fill this square with sand for the jousters. How much fun does that sound? We missed it by one day. We timed it perfectly to miss everything. They were packing it up when we got here. So upsetting. It would have been so much fun. But now we know June and September, we're gonna come back and see it, hopefully. Good, good reason to come back. Yeah, and the wine. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> And uh, we have nowhere to get home. The bus hasn't come for another hour and a half and it's an hour walk. So we are gonna walk. The contrast of going from like, what I would describe as a five star experience at an amazing villa in Tuscany to a bus. <laughs> Everyone else drove. <laughs> uh -huh. 